let me ask you uh, to examine some fundamental principles of a particular thing that Joe Rogan brought up to me several times online and offline, Okay, which is that he thinks that the tie that I wear okay. is something that makes me uh, vulnerable to attack, that you sh should be, the, the reason he doesn't wear a tie is because he can get choked very easily with a tie. It's so a big concern. Okay, my contention, and by the way, he wore a suit last time too. Uh, he didn't wear it on the podcast, he wore it for dinner later. Yeah, I wore a suit the other day and I, I had uh, no socks on. I didn't realize, yeah. You're supposed to wear socks? I yeah, that's, that's my understanding. Why'd you wear a suit? Did you go to court? Again? No, no, not in that no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, I just wanted to play, I wanted to pretend I was an adult for a day. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, uh, so my contention is like the jacket, everything is more dangerous than a tie. That's kind of where I was going with that. That's yeah. kind of where, yeah, it was my first thought too. Like if the, once the tie becomes an issue, like, I feel yeah. like everything else is already an issue. It's already an issue, yeah. Because the tie to me, now without like messing with it now, is, is to, to me has some of the similar problems that a belt does. So like, for example, I don't know about you, maybe you can correct me, but I'm not sure you can use the belt as tied uh, you know, I know there's some kind of um, guards you can probably utilize the belt with, but the belt, sorry, when it's tied around the waist. Are you talking about a belt belt or a gi belt? Sorry, gi belt. Okay. Sorry, gi belt, importantly, oh, okay. gi belt. It's, it's not that great of a thing to use in most cases, I would say, because it slides. Yep, that's there's, true. There, it doesn't, you can probably invent a few interesting ways to use it as leverage, as control and so on. But there's just so many more things around that are better, the belt better that suited. are better. Yeah. And so for me, the tie, what people don't realize- I suppose, are we trying to sell a DVD here and have some some widgets and bells and whistles? Because yeah. in that case, the belt is a really important part of what we do. And I would really encourage you guys to look into it. Yeah. Uh, if, if we're trying to actually like learn something and say, you know, like you said, we're surrounded by better options. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, it's not obvious to me that the belt Maybe there's actually undiscovered things about using the belt. You know, I think people have used like like putting a foot inside the belt somehow inside, uh, inside the gi belt. There's some. Well, this is a no punches gi grappling situation. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. It's already fairly contrived, right? But with punches too. Like, is there? Okay, let's let's talk about a street fights with a belt that's like a jeans belt, like a belt clothing belt. Okay, so do I what get to you? take it off and whip them in the face with the buckle. How, how serious is this street fight? Are we talking no, like that just, bar in Oklahoma no, where that kid serious. got beat up? Or are we talking like- No, uh, like okay. death. Like one of you has to die. Oh, yikes. Whoa. Okay. Oh, you, you, you ever- you, like I, I, I'm in this situation all the time. I understand. Okay. <laughs> and there's a reason I'm still here. I had, no. some, <laughs> I had somebody try to fight me in a Starbucks the other day. I fight kids. We're talking about power differential. Yeah. yeah hey, just I just beat up kids all hey, the time. Just pick the easy Ws. <laughs> you got to get the easy Ws. You want the hard ones. I'm undefeated. Come around the playground, watch what happens. No, like to the, to the death, what is their clothing that's useful? You know, from my perspective- you mean like for your use or their use? Uh, both, oh. for my use, their use. No, like, I like how you went to take the belt off and use the buckle to hit them with. But first of all, how are you gonna take off the, like, the belt? Well, there's that's a actually, lot of effort involved in un unclothing. Well, what I was figuring <laughs> was when they started to see me take my pants off in the fight, they were like, what? They're going to pause okay. and rethink Surprise. the situation for a second. Yes. And I'm making dead eye contact, obviously. <laughs> so going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nodding. And then, you know, yes. by the time they realize you took a belt off <laughs> until you could whip them with it, yeah. you actually, you're already one, possibly two steps ahead. Okay. So fine. Let's not talk about your own clothing. Let's talk about their clothing. Okay. I'll take off their belt and hit them with it. No, but that's that's much harder. Right, no do. question. But if you can do it, well, while maintaining, I got no. I just <laughs> <laughs> like how did it there's, come to this? <laughs> there's all, but the point is, there's alternatives that are perhaps more effective. Yeah. In, in my perspective, this might be clueless. There's almost no clothing that's more effective than almost assuming the situation is no gi grappling. Like I feel like clothing, particularly when you start to add hitting. Like every single time I start grabbing your clothes, if you start you start hitting and something, nothing could work. But most of the time you're like, why am I not using my arms for something better than what I'm doing them right now? Right. Yeah. It's it's very difficult for me to, I don't know, in terms of just distance. I can't imagine a case of different distances, even like situations where, let's not talk about like, like a situation where you haven't both yet agreed that a fight is happening. Mm-hmm. 
Solid like, clothing is nice if they have it on then. I mean, solid clothing. Oh yeah, like something like a good jacket because you can snatch somebody on their face. Snatch, regular, regular snatch people, down. That, yeah, you know, it's like if you if you took my like you know like you snap down in judo, like how easy it is to snap down a beginner. Yeah, it's like. So I, I agree with you. Actually, a tie in that sense might be a really effective way to snap down. So like the snap down is really powerful to change the like disorient the situation and uh, give you a lot of different opportunities for. You know, taking their back, taking them down, uh, doing the, hilarious stuff like snapping them down with a tie into your knee, and then when they come back up doing this, and you're already. So yeah, in that sense, I agree, but not as a choking mechanism because the if concern anything, Joe had is mm -hmm. choke. I think you would probably choke me with your tie more easily than I could choke you with your tie. Probably, I'm serious because like if you get you can get like you get my back and you can put it around somebody's neck, you know, like uh, like like you ever see a Die Hard. Yeah, yeah. You remember when when the, the super uh, Swedish looking blonde dude or whatever was was trying to choke Bruce Willis with the uh, with the chain, yeah, and then he ended up getting choked himself with the chain, if I recall this properly. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, like like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I feel like if I start grabbing your tie, you have too many other great options. I mean, I do like the snap down. That you actually made me realize. No, I think you have, yeah, good there. What's that? I think you're on the right path with it. With a snap down, yeah. Particularly if you start with like one of these, like you know, like like you like you poke your finger in my chest and then snap down real quick. Oh yeah, because it, it it also socially speaking, it's not a threatening thing to you know to to reach for the tide. It's not particularly in like a business setting. You know what I mean? Oh, they'll never see it coming. Yeah, because I was thinking choke, but yeah. it's not. It, it's a really good leverage point because like grabbing a jacket, the jacket will slide if you try to snap down. Yeah. You really have to get a hold, like a really good hold. Well, that's a good point because it's around the back of the neck. But what if it's clip on? How much of a jackass would you look like if you're like, and then they just yeah. they stick you one? But you ever see the uh, Japanese politician, or I think it was Japan, the uh, judo throw? Yeah, it was the guy is so he was so calm and cool. Had like it was every it was beautiful technique. Yeah. The the level of uh, of actually the throw was even gentle. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was perfect. It was amazing. Well executed. Yeah, yeah. more of our politicians is just toss the shit out of each yeah, other. Yeah, we need more Teddy Roosevelt's. Exactly. I like our politicians like talking about fighting when it's clear that none of them have even it would ever have been in a fight ever. Yeah. Somebody was saying Teddy Roosevelt is interesting. I didn't realize this. Is he's one of the greatest presidents this country's had. And he was one of the greatest presidents, even though he faced no crisis whatsoever. He literally willed himself. Like nothing happened during his presidency. He's just a bad motherfucker who made really great speeches. Yeah. So he like, you know, uh, this made me realize, I was just talking to a historian that like most of the people who we think are great need also a good crisis that they that reveal their greatness. But Muhammad Ali, right? This Muhammad Ali, yeah. I mean, in sports. But, uh, but you, know. you know what I mean? Like the circumstances, what is greatness? You know what I mean? It's like you have to, it's not just your capacity, it's what you, what you face, right? It's the quality of opposition, circumstance, what you overcome. So I guess what you're saying is Joe Rogan is wrong about the Thai thing. You know, I don't want to go so far as saying yeah. he's wrong. I, you know, the man's not here to defend himself. Maybe he has some things that I'm not understanding. I'm willing. No, to, he know. has not deeply thought this. This is my main criticism of Joe. He's not deeply thought to this. And the MMA journalist will be like, uh, Ryan Hall says Joe Rogan is wrong and hates ties and hates ties. They'll integrate Hitler back in there somehow. Oh, nice. <laughs>